ABC.com pioneered online viewing in our full episode player, and it's still been quite successful and recently came out with a new version of it. Despite that, of course, we're still a television network, and we want to have people watching television. And we know that people are watching their shows and going on AIM and going on their cell phones and doing other things to talk with their friends while they're watching their favorite shows. So we wanted to try to create an environment in which we would bring those elements together into a single place and have it be kind of in an ABC flavored world and, and bring the best of, of the elements that we saw out there to bear in that environment. So our mission was to create an ABC branded digital environment allowing fans to participate in enhanced real-time exchanges while watching live broadcast television. Here you get an email from your friend. Email is branded Grey's Anatomy. It's really templatized so it can work with any show. And if you click that email, then you go into our, our lobby here. And the, and the lobby is actually for anybody who's in the time zone of this, these viewing parties can chat with each other. As you can see, we can still chat here. Uh, we have our tabs at the top. We have our host of the party. And now our party is about to start. We enter the party, and it's like we have a curtain that comes down that, that reveals the space. So our users start to arrive. Our chatting starts. We can go back into our lobby. We can browse parties. The avatar will come up. Uh, as the chat comes up and move back in time, we can expand information here on the show. We know what's important to trickle up from the show, not everything, just important elements, you know, maybe some background information, some bio information. And then rather than show emoticons like a happy face, a sad face, we wanted to use color here and kind of go through the spectrum of happy, amused, neutral, annoyed, and angry. And as the users send their chats, they could actually roll over that. And if they click inside of that strip, then it starts to affect the vibe or the mood of this chat room. And that is how we utilize the inside of this kind of depth area. We start to, to change the color of that. As you can see, inside of here, it's starting to kind of take on a purplish tone. Another cool thing that we did is we had a ticker. So if people are voting on chats across this, this time zone, a moderator will see what the highest votes are of these chats, and they will actually hit a button and propagate the, the funniest or most relevant chat to every single chat party. So this might be from a chat party in another city or state, and I could click on that and actually go in there. So it's cross-pollinating these chat parties to really, really create an environment of, of a party. Also, this here allows us to rewind the time and then snap it back again. So we could actually pull back, we can see where the vibe was. We could rewind it and actually choose a chat to respond to. And then how to browse parties. Rather than use a, a world, we thought of using these circles in kind of a, a particle world here, where each one of the circles, it describes that, that party, it describes whether it's full. We can click on that party. You can see what chats are going on, how many people are in it. And of course, these chats are relevant to what's going on in the show as well. So I could easily go to these chat parties. I can look all over to see what conversations are being had and choose to go right to those conversations. Of course, if I wanted to find my friend Zenmeister, then I would go into my filter here and I would type in Zenmeister and I'd filter right to where that person is. So we have a filter here by just a username and a city and state zip. And if I wanted to create a party, I have very few form fields. You know, who am I? What show am I creating this party for? What's my zip code? And I want to invite my friends.